Hey guys, welcome to Clarity Chart Analysis. In this channel, how I'll be interpreting, analyzing the market structure, telling us our current position on the price market chart, and predicting the next possible move of the market. But first, if you're new to this channel and to make money on both directions of the market, this channel is for you. Subscribe, like, and put on the notification to be notified anytime I drop a new video. In this video, I'll be analyzing the Cardano coin. At the point of recording this video, the Cardano coin is ranked number 125 on the coin market cap and is trading at the rate of 0.952 dollars. The Cardano coin has a market cap of 201 million and a fully diluted market cap of 938 million. And the Cardano coin has about 211 million Cardano tokens in circulation. So guys, what is the Cardano token? The Cardano is a proof of work blockchain that combines the POW consensus mechanism from Bitcoin with a direct cyclic graph principle to offer a scalable version of Bitcoin. Cardano claims it can provide the security of Bitcoin while being able to offer unparalleled throughput that makes the blockchain unusable to enterprises and entrepreneurs alike. Cardano's unique infrastructure is decentralized and built for mass adoption because of its multi-chain approach. Cardano promises industry scalability that can support global financial system and can be scaled as necessary. It also vows to remain energy efficient at scale and deliver more transactions with the same energy input. Another difference to Bitcoin. Moreover, Cardano offers crypto gas station which allow businesses to pay for their customer gas fees and remove a massive pain point in adopting blockchains for business. So guys, if you want to get the Cardano token, we can get the Cardano token on Binance Exchange, on Qcoin Exchange, on Bitfinex Exchange, on Kraken Exchange, on OKS Exchange, on Gate.io Exchange, on BitGet Exchange, and any other exchange, you get your favorite altcoin. So guys, welcome to the Cardano USDT price chart. As you can see, I've already mapped out my market structure. I use yellow to map out my major structure, which is my daily time frame. And I use red to map out my minor structure, which is my 4 hour time frame. Guys, I'll be using these two tools to show us our move on the market structure. I'll be using the red to our bearish move. And I'll be using the green to show us our. So guys, the major purpose for this video is me using the market structure to tell us our current position and also to use the market structure to predict the next possible move of the market. Guys, on our major time frame, the Cardano token was launched on the Qcon exchange by May 2021. It was launched on the price of $87. We saw the price coming down, the BS2 price back down to about $0.31. Now guys, the first break of structure we saw on our minor time frame was a break of structure to the upside. The boost took the price, broke structure to the upside, took price to about $2.6. And guys, after every break of structure, we should expect a pullback. The BS came into the market, took price from that $2.6 and pushed it back down to about $1.38. So from there, the boost came back, took price from that $1.36, pushed price back to about $8.8 and guys the bears came in push price from that $8.8 push price back to about $4.8 guys and again the bulls came back push price from that $4.7 push price back to about $28.1 and guys we are expecting the pullback sure we got a pullback the bears came into the market took price from that $28 push price back to about $4.3 breaking structure to the downside so now guys, if you notice, our bulls have now become our pullback. The bulls came back, took price from that $4.3, pulled back price to about $11. And guys, as long as this II that gave us this lower low is not taken out, we should expect more break of structure to the downside. The bears came back, took price from that $11 and pushed price back to about $1.4. We expected a pullback. Sure, the bulls came back. Took price from that $1.4, push price back to about $3.4. And guys, as long as this low high that gives us this lower low is not taken out, we should expect more break of structure to the downside. Sure, the BS came back, took price from that $3.4, push price back to about $0.79. And guys, we just saw a break of structure, we're waiting for a pullback. So, guys, what's our current position 
on the Cadena USDT price chart. On our major time frame, there has not been any break of structure. And on our minor time frame, we just saw a break of structure to the downside, expecting a pullback. Sure, we've not really seen a pullback. So guys, drop your thoughts in the comment section. What do you think? From this front, price is trading. Do you think price will have to go back to this supply zone before coming back to break this demand zone? Or you have to break this supply zone? Go back to this upper supply zone before coming back to break this demand zone. Or from this current point, price is trading. Price will have to come back and break this demand zone. Thank you for watching this video. If you are new to this channel, please subscribe, like, and put on a notification to notify you anytime I drop a new video.